Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah if you're new here and if you're a returning viewer, hello again. But if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe right now because I drop a video every Wednesday and I want you guys to keep up to date with those. Um, and today we're going to do a favorites and not so favorites. Be clear that since something is not my favorite doesn't mean I don't necessarily not like it but it just didn't work for me or I'm not too crazy about it yet because I do this thing where I kind of make a judgment too quick so a month kind of maybe might not be enough for some products so that's just a heads up for that um, but let's get into it so first I'm gonna do makeup because you know that's what we're here for that's what everyone kind of knows me for so my first September favorite is my Sephora micro smoothing powder I used this a long time ago and I just repurchased it this is a great everyday powder um, if you guys know me then you know I love the Mac mineralized skin finish but I think this is a really good one and it keeps me a little bit more matte so the days that I want a more matte look then definitely this is the one and I've been going for this one a lot lately. The next product is something new for me that I just picked up in the last couple months and it's this e.l.f. blush in blushing. I'm such a blush fan so I really love this one. It's looking worn already so this is definitely a favorite. I reach for it almost every day. This was the product that I was loving this month for blush. And then next are some eyelashes and these are by 829 lashes. I'm actually more of a natural lash girl, but these ones are actually in the style <laughs> But these ones are in the style mimosa I believe and I really like these ones They have like the wispy effect, but they're more full more full than I normally go for but I really like this style So shout out to 829 lashes for these every time I want like a pick-me-up or just like a more bold look I always go for these lashes and then another product from them which actually really surprised me because you know she went from lashes to lip glosses and lash glue and stuff but this is her clear intentions gloss it's actually really opaque and I love the color deep I'm not really a huge lip gloss like wearer or fan but lately I have been since I got this and I also like that it's so opaque so you know, I love a good lip liner. I love to overline my lips. But I, this is so opaque that I was able to put this on with no lip liner. And it still gave me a really plump, full effect because of the opaqueness of the product. So the color I use is Deep. And she sent another one, which is really cute as well. But I really, really like this. The fact that I can wear it without lip liner is a major plus for me. And it's not, like, overly shiny. And it's definitely not sticky just really comfortable formula so I'm really loving this it's always in my purse and yeah so next is makeup but it's actually tools so I have a bunch of brushes a bunch of you know makeup tools but these two I cannot live without I just I always use them there is no replacement for them and this is the real techniques um, dark spot correcting brush so it's just like a dual fiber synthetic brush but it's really amazing at blending out my concealer I love it so much and this pack came with four of them I've had these for years years and I just like decided to pick it up and use it for my concealer recently and my routine cannot live without this thing so love this brush for concealer and then the next one is from LaRousse Beauty and it is the LR003 flat angle diffuser I really love this brush um, I've been doing the fox eye cat eye trend and I this brush just makes it so simple to do it just fits right there and allows me to make that that um, that cat eye and it's so crazy how easy it is like it blends it and it puts it on perfectly so this is a must for me because that's the look that I like to do with my eyes pretty much like every day now this is a not so favorite for makeup and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer I in the last month or so I have gone through so many elf products and concealers specifically I'm having the hardest time finding my color one that's the first problem for me two this formula I just don't like it it's too watery it's the hydrating one the 16 hour matte formula I do I have yet to get the right color I thought that's what I was doing with this but I got the hydrating one again so the hydrating camo concealer is the one that I'm not a fan of um yeah I just don't like that formula so this is a not so favorite for me for makeup so that's it 
for makeup, let's actually move into skincare. So for skincare, this brand, Ounce of Nature, so I will give you a disclaimer that this product was sent to me to try, and this is my video on it, but it's actually in my favorites. So they sent me quite a few products, but I'm just going to add my favorites only in this video because, you know. Um, so this is the Ounce of Nature Antioxidant Hydrating Cleansing Mousse. And this thing is so cool. I leave it in the shower. This is my morning face wash. And what I love about this is it really is hydrating. A lot of face washes really strip my skin and make it feel dry. And that is one feeling that I despise. I know it's like a clean feeling, but I don't like my skin to feel stripped like that. And this is just like, it's a foam. And it just makes my skin feel instantly really good after washing it, which I don't find happens very often. So shout out to them. I love this product. Um, I'll link their Instagram as well. The next product from them is actually their anti-aging serum and this product is really pricey. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's worth the price because to me it is really pricey but um, I put this on every night before I put on my nighttime lotion and it just really really soaks up really well into my skin and my face. I wake up with it feeling so hydrated and dewy and fresh and I love the scent of this. I don't know how to explain it. It's so nostalgic to me but I don't know what it is. Like I don't know what it reminds me of but I really like it and I put it on my neck and my on my neck and my degotage as well. Um, it's $120 for this, but I will say you don't need much. Uh, a little bit goes a long way, so I can kind of understand, and it is a serum, but um, yeah, so I really love this. So moving on to things that really weren't my favorites from that while sticking in skincare is the Truth Banana Bright um, Vitamin C Serum. I don't know, I just, this is the one that I feel like is actually really drying out my skin, so I could need to do more research on this product and what exactly it's supposed to do. I thought it's supposed to give you more youthful, you know, brightening effect, but I think this is what's drying my face out a lot. And then um, I got this one separately, and this is the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser, and I decided to use this one at night because it is on the thicker side, but um, the thing, like I mentioned, I don't like when my skin feels super, super dry after washing it, and this really strips my skin of everything. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the refreshing smells of the whole line. I love the banana, uh, not the banana, the um, citrus smell of everything. It's so invigorating. I love that, but I don't know if I love any of the products enough to purchase again. So that's just where I'm going to leave that for now and also this is the end of summer we're beginning fall now my skin is already switching up and I'm noticing that these products aren't really working so much for me in this season because I'm about to have really dry skin so I'm gonna have to switch up the routine anyways and then next for skincare is this freaking Indian healing clay mask everyone suggested this um, from Amazon this is like a top Amazon beauty product this is not my favorite because it's so tight. It hurts. And a lot of people warned me that it could hurt. That's not something that I really enjoy doing to my skin, hurting it in the name of beauty. I don't know. I just, that's not um, on my checklist of things to do to my skin during a routine. I have like texture, little bumps. So I'm looking to like purify my skin with the clay mask, but it's just, it's a lot and this is a huge container so you know I'm still gonna give it a try it could be again the season changing I won't leave it in as long but I'm just not really I'm not crazy about it so I'm not gonna tell anyone to go out and buy this cuz I don't know I'm just really impartial to this product so far next thing is style fashion clothes I have gotten a lot of things in quarantine which is like why because I'm not going anywhere but I think in quarantine it feels good to get ready like we're at home all day we're not going anywhere like the least I can do for myself is get up and get ready and feel cute and feel good because that goes a long way for your mood so I have been getting new clothes and a lot of things that are comfy and cute which has been like the fashion the style motto for me lately so first things first underwear this is my underwear guys this is kind of weird but these are the Auden underwear line from Target 
oh my gosh i cannot rave about these enough like i don't know if they're fake skims or what but i love the ribbed texture i just picked up more of these because i wear them all day twice a day like running through them like crazy and i just love the ribbed effect they're so comfortable for nighttime even wearing all day long like under my workout clothes they don't bunch up nothing so comfortable so highly recommend these and then the next one is also from Target, and this is my Colsey, I don't know what, it, oh, it's a bralette. So I really love this thing, but this was just like a little bralette. It was, I believe, $7. Once I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's super cute. It looks really comfortable for bed, because I like to sleep in very little for bed. So this actually turned into like a little fashion staple for me. I wore it under so many things. I can wear it with sweats. I can wear it with like a baggy t-shirt. You can wear it with a blazer. Like there's so many things you could wear this with, and I was obsessed when I first got it still obsessed and again it has the ribbed texture I just love ribbed texture I find it to be very flattering and really comfortable no matter what it's on it's just it's a flattering texture so I love that and then this has been my whole these have been my holy grail for quarantine I talked about these a long time ago in my blog but these paper bag pants from H&M and they're so soft they're jeans but they're really soft and they have this elastic waist and it these allow me to wear crop tops that's like probably my most favorite part i hate showing my midsection and these are like the perfect high rise for me with a comfortable band you know um so it allows me to wear crop tops and still feel good about myself and i love them i love the baggy style it took me a while to get used to baggy jeans because like i grew up when tight jeans and a nice but and all that was like in so it's hard for me to like not embrace any curves or butt I don't know that might sound weird but that's how I feel about it but I'm embracing this trend because you know it could do me some good I don't have like the cutest butt and I don't like tight pants so it's kind of working out for me that like your ass isn't your only asset anymore <laughs> okay the last style thing that is my favorite that is so unexpected i was such a big hater on these like oh my god they're so ugly like who would wear those why would you wear them i only thought you should wear them if you're like a nurse or whatever or a doctor you know in that environment but all of a sudden here i am these little bad boys so comfortable and they're actually so cute it's like <sighs> you can wear them with anything and it's like you can wear them with anything because they're so funny looking like they're so ugly they're cute and if you have the confidence to wear something ugly like that with anything then you'll definitely love these i just think they're so ugly so just it's just like a statement in its own that like you can rock crocs um but my sister-in-law had them my niece had them and i'm like dude those are so ugly like i don't get it but you know, my nieces were so cute. I'm like, those are so cute. Um, so I finally was like, you know what? I want to get some because quarantine, again, it's like the perfect thing. You can wear them around the house. You can wear them outside. Like, I love that they're so versatile and you could just, there's something you can slip on, literally slip on all the time with socks, without socks, whatever. Super comfy and hella easy to clean. I just realized um, I just need a wipe, like a baby wipe and just clean them like that. I was like, how am I going to clean these? But it was actually really easy and for that I'm thankful because they do get dirty kind of quickly. I will be getting more colors. Um, okay, so let's get into something that I like, I'm like. i kind of nervous to get into because I feel like I'm going to be attacked for this. And I love the girl who got me to try them. I love her so much. I trust her so much though. This has nothing to do with me not trusting her or you know anything like that. But it is... Monet, Monat, whatever you want to call it. These are all the hype, all the rave. You see it all over Instagram, you know, it's just everywhere. And I was like, ooh, I want to get on that hype. I want to try it out. I want to treat my hair better. I was like ready to make the jump, the splurge um, for the products. But I, people's results are so good. So I'm going to be honest. I was super, super, I'm sweating. I was super excited to try these like I really wanted to help them to help like my kind of like thinning here which is totally normal with age and whatnot but that's what I really wanted it for because otherwise my hair is pretty healthy it's pretty plain it's my hair is pretty good like I don't need to do much to it so for that I'm thankful but yeah I really just wanted it for the thinning and I don't know I washed 
four times with them and I just didn't like it. I didn't like how it sat in my hair because I've had that problem before where the product kind of, there's like product buildup. And I had so many people try and tell me that I might have been using it the wrong way, but like I know how to wash my hair. And I followed the directions on the bottle to a T. I even brought the timer in the shower with me. So I did everything I was supposed to. I didn't leave the product and it just wasn't working for me. And I've seen videos of how to use it the right way, but I don't think shampoo should be that difficult to use in my opinion. And the fact that I can't get it to work for me is just, it's just a no for me. But it's really exciting to see what it's done for other people. I really wanted those results, but I just didn't get them. So for me, it's on my not favorite list today, unfortunately. But yeah, not to say they're not great, but they just didn't work for me. Okay, and then the last thing, which I'm excited about, is something different. Hopefully I can incorporate this every month. Super cute. So this is a book that me and Russ, my boyfriend, picked up from the bookstore. And I just think it's the cutest little book, um, just like for a pick-me-up and to learn a lot about yourself. So if you don't know, I'm super into horoscopes, astrology, spirituality, all of that. So um, I put reading in my schedule every day and... Sometimes I don't want to read the other book I'm reading, so I picked this book up, and it just, like, it's so cute. It gives you a lot of things that you can do to self-care for your specific sign, and I definitely do a lot of them already, and I find them to be very true. They hold true. So this book is really cute if you're looking for a new book or looking for a new way to do a self-care routine, anything like that. I think this is just so cute and so necessary um, for your self-care routine. And that's it. So those are my favorites and not so favorites products. So I like that because it's like, I don't hate the product, but it's not my favorite. I've given it a try. I just don't like it that much. I could potentially like something later, just right now. It's not my favorite. I have very specific favorites and those things just didn't make the cut for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of these, definitely leave a comment below that you liked this and if you're going to try any of the products or if you want to see other types of products incorporated that I should try and put in next month, let me know. And that's it. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!